Brothers and sisters, I'm delighted that so many of you joined me in the celebration of the sacred Triduum in Holy Week and now in Easter time. It has been a joy for all of us, although we are apart, to feel a real closeness, for we are truly united in our faith and in our prayers. Today I invite you to say with me the Regina Celi, the Queen of Heaven, which replaces the Angelus in Easter time. For this prayer today I have brought you onto the sanctuary here in our Church of Our Lady of the Assumption, and particularly to one of the mosaics on the altarpiece. It belongs to one of the very beautiful Easter Day stories, the appearances of the risen Jesus. It represents that moment in the Emmaus story where the two disciples recognize Jesus at the breaking of bread. They had hoped for other things, but they hadn't recognized him as he walked beside them on the road from Jerusalem to Emmaus. They invited him to stay with them. He went and he broke bread, and at that point they recognized him. But he had vanished from their sight. They hurriedly went back to Jerusalem, and the other disciples said, Yes, it is true, he is risen. And that beautiful phrase, it is true, he is risen, is part of the Regina Celi. Follow it with me. If you know it, say it out loud, and if not, then repeat it with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. The Son, whom you merited to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia, for the Lord has truly risen, alleluia. In our deep faith at this time, when the whole world is troubled, we are able to express our faith in that phrase from Scripture, for the Lord has truly risen, alleluia. Allow me to finish with a short personal anecdote. I have some very good friends in Spain, a very elderly priest and his sister who looks after him and their friend, and I hadn't heard from them for a while, although I had tried to be in contact. But just after Easter, they phoned me, and they began their words, not by saying Happy Easter, but as they do in some countries with a great Catholic tradition. As soon as I answered the phone, they said, For the Lord has truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray that often during this Easter time. And we ask God to bless us, to deliver us, and to give us his protection. Amen. And God bless you all.